Hello folks, welcome to another date on the um, Journalist Hangout Show. It's a Friday, the last edition for the week. I am Citizen Jones Usain. Today on the program, Imo State Government orders the arrest of former Governor Rochas Okorocha over attack on Governor's aid, places him on watch list. One year after Supreme Court judgment, Ekiti communities bicker over relocation of local government headquarters. And of course, we are going to share this last one with you. Media men, security experts advocate collective approach, deployment of technology to fight corruption in security in Nigeria. I'm hanging out with Baba Jide Kolade Otitoju. Jide, another Friday is here. Yes. Great, great, great to see you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you too. No, no, it's, it's good. It's good. We'll, we'll talk later. Oh, we, later after or after later. Let, let's talk about later. what? <laughs> about what? Okay then, Charles uh, Idaho. He said it was Idaho, not Idaho. You see, he didn't get it right, but it's okay. I managed okay. that. The Ho is there, not Ho anymore. Thank you so. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but this is very straightforward. Martin's Ologia has joined us. You're welcome. Martin, I greet you. Yeah, thank you. Okay then, um, the team is ready. I hope you are. It's a fact that the secretary to the state government of Imo, Uche Onya Gwacha, I hope I got that right, has given the order for the arrest of the immediate past governor of the state, Senator Rochas Okoracha. A trending online video is set to capture suspected thugs of the former governor physically assaulting the chairman of the recovery of government property in that state. His name is Jasper Ndubuaku. The senator is also placed on security watch, even as the citizens have been charged to arrest him whenever he's cited anywhere in the state. Now, a Chinese proverb comes to mind readily here. It says, quote, he who seeks revenge must dig two graves, one for the enemy and one for himself, Jide. I've heard that. I don't know if you have heard that. That's a good What? We always want the enemy alone to occupy the grave. And not the... Yet, sometimes while we chase the enemy, we end up becoming the victim. Yeah. So people need to learn. I, I, I figure that if this continues, we will have what we had in the 80s, as soon as Ojuku returned from exile. 1982, June, yeah. I remember. When yeah. we had the, he came by front against the James Vanguard, mm. you know, and at the end of the day, it is the hapless masses who suffer when uh, these elephants confront themselves. It's the masses. No, no, say properly, when two elephants when fight. fight. When the same two elephants are engaged in a love tango, it's the same grass. Yes. Yes, but I, I choose to ignore the possibility of love. Okay. At this stage, because these ones, there's no love lost between these <coughs> elephants. And okay. these elephants are not likely to copulate. Anytime so, soon. Politically speaking. Uh, uh, in fact, they are not going to copulate at all. So... That's why I say it's the masses that get to suffer at the yeah. end of the day. So, in my view, what's been happening is a kind of tit for tat game. The government of Imo wants everyone to believe that Okorocha set records for stealing. And Okorocha, feeling uh, humiliated, decided to respond. The other day, by saying that the governor of Imo State, Emeka Hedioha, spent 2.8 billion on on uh, sanitation, and the government says no, we only spent 25 million, as if that was not enough. Okorocha also accused Hedioha of spending, I mean, of building houses in Abuja, in his uh, village. And even an, uh, building an hotel in Abuja and houses in Oweri and his village, all within two months. And the response of the Ivedioha group was that only 
and Okorocha can build houses in two months. Two months. Houses that will eventually collapse. I mean, it's, um, it's not funny. It's not funny, but my advice to the government is to focus on their mission. You can't keep harassing a government that has left office in the way they are doing. If you look around, it's only about Imo that we read this kind of stories. And it's, 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 it's really, really Are constant. you surprised? Uh, the immediate past governor gave us one crazy line. I cannot forget it. He, he brought the word Iberiberism. Mm. Yes, but I just think that if they are not careful, people will turn against them. Because once you do not focus on governance, and you are just chasing an individual, after a while, this is the way Nigerians behave, after a while, that person yeah. will start becoming like the, what's it called, the victim. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Nigerians yeah. like to, to support the underdog. The to so empathize. once they begin to see him as an underdog that is being harassed because he's out of government, honestly, I come on, any, yeah. anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Charles, you know, Niccolo Machiavelli, and all of us, some of, all of us here are familiar with Machiavellian styles and so on. He said, if an injury has to be done to a man, it should be so severe that the man's vengeance need not be feared, <laughs> end quote. Yes. <laughs> but I, I, Meaning, <laughs> Imo governor must go the whole hog. Yes. By because if you start now injuries. and stop midway, yes. just as Jide said, yes. then... And, and the injury inflicted must be so deep to, to cripple... Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. For yeah. him to not recover. <laughs> but is, uh, but um, if I want to look at it, I think um, Ehid Yoha should um, be very, very circumspect. She also be very careful because um, this is uh, a position that has gone to him. He's been, he's been angry to, uh, for it for a long time. If, if, what he should know is that in the, in, the, in the political calendar, four years is a very short time. Mm. Yes. Very, very short time that you don't even waste it on frivolities and inanities and all that. Before you know it now, two years gone, then they will now begin to look at KPI. You do KPI, the uh, key performance index to now measure what you have done. Okay, you are chasing our culture, show us what you have done. So I think what she, what she needs to, and then another thing is also not doing right, is by calling on the indigenous of Imo to take it upon themselves to arrest the man whenever he's found anywhere in Imo state. Where is that done? No. That you now give power to the everyday people to now, to now, to now take it upon themselves to arrest someone. I mean, these people are not trained for the... the Considering the, that what happened in Nuremberg is still fresh. Exactly. So well, what, I, what I think uh, uh, Hedio has should do is that he, he, he thinks or he believes that culture did not um, lead Imo right. Good. Given. I mean, that's granted. Then the question is, how do you now do it for you to now give what Okrocha did not, what the Imo people forfeited during Okrocha's eight years, how do you now give it to them? That's exactly well, what should be his primary concern. Damage reduction and damage uh, control yes. and so on. So I, I, I don't, he doesn't have the time at all. It, because mm. as he's doing this, the clock is ticking and it's ticking away and the days are shortening. Before you know it, it's already another election year. And then he will now be struggling to now show what he has done. I'm not sure where he's going to, be, he's going, to he's going for a re-election. He's going to be uh, uh, dangling before Imo people how, how he pursued the Imo, uh, Imo people, how, he, how he pursued the Okorocha. Mm. It is it is his uh, achievement he needs to show them to know whether he actually merits a re-election. If he if he if he if he does this, he's going to forfeit that goodwill for a, a re-election, and yeah. it will not be good for him at all. Hey, uh, Olaja, you know. When you hear that the chiefs, the traditional rulers in Imo, are backing the governor, then you <laughs> will have a hell of a battle here. Autonomous, autonomous community. <laughs> well, you know, the traditional rulers will always back any government, any governor oh, in really? office and a power because the governors pay them. Okay. The, uh, the traditional rulers have no place in our constitution. It is the local government chairman that pay them in their various uh, domains. Constitutionally? Con 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 Are they paid uh, constitutionally? The answer, again, is blowing in, in the, the wind. wind. <laughs> 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 well, you know, uh, uh, in all seriousness, I think that uh, I agree with my uh, brothers here who have talked about uh, the fact that uh, he, should, he should not make that one hmm. a fundamental objective and directive uh, uh, principle yeah. of state policy. 
he should focus on why they elected him. They elected him to correct all these that's why I, we usually do not agree with people who continue to fight their uh, predecessors. Uh, predecessors. Because at, at the end mm. of the day, you cannot showcase that. You talk that. about yes. which, which hunt. And, and the counter question was, if uh, which, no hunt. Now who for hunt? Uh, if, if, if which, not they. So uh, uh, I think <laughs> he, should, he should watch this word, self-help. He's resorting to self-help. Mm. And he's doing media trial that will quarrel about oh, yeah, exactly. here all the time. Media yeah. trial yeah. will not take anybody anywhere. anywhere. No. He has, he has uh, written petitions to ICPC and EFCC, mm -hmm. anti-corruption agencies. Yes. He should allow work. those agencies to do their job. Exactly. Their job. Mm -hmm. And you know, Don't I, do it I for have, them. Yes, I haven't seen in any law book where the secretary to the government or even the governor has the power to order arrest of anybody. And tell anybody, he everybody, not, everybody, he, everybody. He's not, uh, no. He, he, it's Ma not the police. Martin, sometimes mm -hmm. you wonder if what you read in the news is true. <laughs> you wonder why it is true. <laughs> what, what has the secretary to the government, who, who, where does uh, the, the secretary to the government well, they derive have the power? Well, they they power they <laughs> and he's even telling tell him, him anywhere they see him. him. And you see, I, I think our politicians should always learn. This is not good. Self-help will not lead anybody, no matter how powerful you are. Mm. Even the president, the governors, and all those people cannot resort to self-help. There are officers of the law. There are agencies that are to enforce the law. The governor just asking all this thing, doing media, uh, uh, as uh, Jide said, always in the news. He, 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 he sorry, so, sorry, you always know, in the news for wrong reason, wrong reason, reason, wrong reason. Wrong reason. Ma, it's not, Martin, but you recall it's not that the best thing for Hedio Ha that uh, the, 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 the glimmer of hope yeah. That was raised with his oh, yeah. Yeah. electoral yeah. exercise. It's, it's dimming. Yes, it's dimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. evaporates we, like we, that. Yeah. You, you know, in the opening weeks, Jide, you know, um, the Ihedioha government spent time and money demolishing structures supposedly erected uh, by the outgoing governor illegally. Mm, I, you know, the, the, the most prominently reported was the. Akachi. Akachi. Akachi, the hand of God. But mm. they denied that the candidate, it was actually a partial demolition. Yeah, not, because not because, total, of, the uh, because uh, of the uproar. Not total demolition, partial demolition. And they said, no, uh, our hands are clean. Uh, we didn't. Uh, nobody was arrested. No, I'm not aware of any arrest. Okay, okay. So, but you news? see, the, the thing is, as um, Martin said, we have institutions of government saddled with the responsibility of investigating crime and ensuring that criminals or suspected criminals are prosecuted. Now, when you go to the media and say that somebody misappropriated X amount, so, so, so amount, trillions, this and that, People will ask, what is the evidence that you have? Because it's not enough to simply point at uh, Okorocha that, oh, uh, his aides looted government property worth 50 billion as they were about to leave office, or that even Okorocha himself um, mismanaged also trillion of Naira and all that. You have to show evidence that this is indeed true. Otherwise, people will look at you as a mere joker. Yeah. You ha you, you've not published facts, incontrovertible facts, cast iron evidence. You've not provided in any newspaper, either in form of a newspaper uh, advertorial or something, to show that, yes, these are the items that these fellows have stolen. And how much? When you do that, it becomes believable to people. <clears throat> people will now say, yes, indeed, this guy is matching his words with the facts yeah. that are needed to drive his words home. But we are not seeing that. We are just seeing two individuals who clearly uh, are not happy with one another and find difficult to forgive one another, just saying all kinds of things, and their own uh, aids too. Uh, all over the uh, place. As the musician said, it was... it's black on black. <laughs> okay. This is black on black. <laughs> this is, it, what we are seeing is black on black 
insults. Okay. Mm. That's what because that's that, that's what we yeah. see. The other day I read somewhere that oh they discovered Okorocha had the house that he built for for uh, an Ethiopian girlfriend, and they went there to say oh they saw on this they saw this, Not and necessary. I'm like. These things so are small, small. This is small. becoming very o ridiculous. One children chatter in the sand. <laughs> so the thing, the thing really is, if you you must prove that that house where he allegedly harbored the woman from Ethiopia was indeed built with government funds, except if you are saying an individual who has all the money that he has. Cannot actually uh, with uh, after all, before coming to government, yeah, Okorocha was a rich man. Yeah, yeah. Himself, yeah. So. With, with uh, yeah. properties in Abuja and uh, uh, just another place. Oh, yeah. You know, there are. Okay. I know a particular street in Abuja where from the from the first building, majority of the roads. I mean, they have buildings on that road. The, now the man get them. Yes, in Abuja. Because you, you, before many you people, show me. you know, in those days when some of us were saying, no, mm. Abuja, uh, Abuja will never be a reality. Yeah. Yeah. Especially people oh, from yeah. the southwest. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Some people, people were going there, were buying you remember, buying because properties. he's lived mm -hmm. a, 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 yes. a hefty proportion of his life. Over he's yes. lived in mm -hmm. Abuja. He knows what, what I'm saying. Three tickets. Take a bow, man. So, mm. so <laughs> some, yeah. people, some people didn't believe the story that Abuja we never become yeah, reality. Definitely. And they went there and they were getting land for cheap. Almost, almost One of such nothing. persons is this uh, Okorocha of a man. All right, we have company. Joshua is reaching us from Niger State. Joshua, how do you do? Hello, good evening, sir. Let, let's go, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, I'll provide you this. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And I want to also greet the other panelists. We yes, greet you, you too. Thank you. Um, your discussion this very evening is so <clears throat> interesting, and uh, I pray that God will continue to approve it. My little contribution is, let the state government, if possible, go ahead to prosecute the previous uh, administration. Because of the fundamental level of corruption, it's so alarming. I saw a video um, of recent and that yeah. video is an indication that a lot of water passed through the bridges in mm -hmm. the last administration. Mm -hmm. God bless you very much. Thank you, yeah. Joshua from Niger. Um, uh, Ideho, you know, one sweet revenge which would apply to Governor Ihe Dioha is to see to good governance yes yes exactly talk less about what the last governor mm -hmm. had done mm -hmm. and then and let it, people it will be a lot easy yes. to nail anybody so I, I think just to tie into what you have said i think um hit your heart must stop driving against the traffic that's how i see it because over time if he continues like this particularly as he has this uh, political fraternity with uh he hit him or, uh, he hit or, or, or hakim or hakim, mm -hmm. yeah. or hakim you know, he was, when he was defeated, he never gave uh, Okrocha any breathing space. I mean, in the news, almost on a daily basis, he would be saying, well, Okrocha is clueless, Okrocha is dysfunctional, and, and then the same uh, Ohakim now is in um, uh, go, governor, go, is, is his government. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, for me, it does seem, uh, this is it's a, it's a matter of conjecture, it does seem to me that what he couldn't do, he wants to you know, try to, see how, how much power they can muzzle to help him do it. So uh, uh, this man, because definitely in Nigeria, we know how to judge people when it comes to leadership. Right now, the man who is there is um, Ehe Dioha. Nobody's going to talk about Ehe Dioha's government. You're going to be talking about what did Ehe Dioha do when he was there, not, not what he was his administration able to do. So he must, he must, he must try to write a, a story that will, that will put him in the right part of history. Because Imo, Imo time, said, time is still on uh, his side. It's time on his side, but I said, I said the political calendar is very short. So what he should do is that he should right now go back, and it, maybe he should have to uh, uh, sort of backpedal. I'm not saying that if he, if he has any evidence against Okrocha, he should not, he should not bring that forward. Mm. 
but let it be done in a way where it will not be seen as if he's witch hunting or culture. Yes, yes. Let the people who are who are saddled with the responsibility of investigation and prosecution mm. carry their no, job out job. so that he can face governors. Yes. Because it is it is based on that. It is on that that we were all of us are going to judge him four years from now. In 2023 20, 20, is uh, just around the corner. Yeah. But now look at what have you done? to tell us that you indeed merit a, 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 a you, you know what you know what i don't want to, what i want to see i don't want to hear you have to be responding to this the honestly it's not necessary let your aids, aids like the, respond, the media person. Yes. yes you focus on, on your mission let your aides do the talking you just focus is it the on the, yes is it is it, be because the for him to be exchanging words with, uh, with with this man i don't think it makes any sense Anoja, please as a hangout, we have a duty here. Yes. Debrief the masses of Imolites who had been ordered, in quotes, by the SSG. <laughs> Tell them it is not proper. Ah, that's exactly what I, I will use, repeat. Use their language. Yes, I will, I will repeat what I said earlier, that they should not re, uh, have recourse to self-help. Yes. Self-help is not recognized. Even in fact, mm -hmm. the law frowns mm -hmm. on self-help. They will be causing anarchy. Yes. And they will know that law enforcement agents will come after anarchists in the state. I want to just give him some advice. We thank God for uh, what is happening in Nigeria. We can see what others are doing. They can borrow a leave from Kano State. You see that EFCC is usually not involved in Kano State affairs. Why? They have a local anti-corruption agency set up by the state is by right? assembly. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. Anti is the yes, anti-corruption oh, agency. There's a state anti-corruption anti oh, really? yes. agency. Is by the Sharia enforcement. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I, uh, they have, uh, police. Nothing prevents him if he sees the magnitude of what has happened. He says something mm -hmm. up. He just sets up no, an anti-corruption agency. With, uh, bill, you know, people keep bill talking to about federalism, about restructuring. The state governors should also be thinking Critically, to do some, like Lagos State government has been doing, mm -hmm. they set up their own local... To replicate, company. to replicate no, You don't make have. noise. Mm -hmm. Approach the state assembly. Set up your own law. Mm -hmm. If it does not conflict with any sections of the okay, constitution, the can, organic can law of the it. land, the right ground norm, you, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. If he feels that way, he should borrow a leave from Kano State. Anytime Kano State has an issue, they approach the state anti-corruption. When they were dealing with the EMEA, they were dealing with mm. this, they were dealing with that. They approached the anti-corruption. Even when the governor himself was accused of oh, yeah. this yeah, and that, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, the, anti yeah, the local anti-corruption agency. So he should focus so on what, building... The, the local anti-corruption yes. agency didn't relate to anything. It's the they didn't, institution. They, they, they also, but they also, they whatever also, happens, takes, huh? that, is their, own, that <laughs> is their own, uh, the that is their own <laughs> case. In Kano, you but, can but, borrow but, a but, leave from yeah, it by setting up local anti-corruption agency. There's a template... Um, envisioned by Kano State. Mm -hmm. yes. We can build on it. Yeah, we can build on it, yes. So what, what, what we want to see is the anti-corruption agency, the one in Kano. We want to see it truly, truly independent. Yes. Yes. The way it is, the one in Kano is not independent. In fact, it's like a joke. And states that want to replicate should try to make the anti-corruption Agency as independent as, as independent possible. as yes. possible. Yeah, definitely. Not simply what can be used mm. uh, by politicians uh, when they please. Mm. No. Uh, yeah, or but, but an anti-corruption agency that starts something. Yeah. Is about to start but, investigation but, but, and then you tell them to hands off. No. And then, and then we saw that happen in Kano. It should not be. It should, <laughs> be, it should not be. Uh, uh, all right then. <laughs> okay. 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 I have. Well. I have one word for <laughs> Governor. He hid your heart. It is this, when you are governor, or number one, you are alone. That's Wish it. you well. All right, still to come, one year after Supreme Court judgment, Ekiti community, uh, communities bicker over relocation of local government headquarters. You want to stay with us? Okay, let's keep it going. In Nigeria, our Nigeria, disputes over land had sharply divided blood relatives and the squabbles had endured for years, in most cases. In a scenario reminiscent of the Ogbi Ijo Ogidigbe headquarters, Palava in the then Wari South local government area of Delta State in the 90s, two communities in Ekisti State are on edge regarding the relocation of the headquarters of the Ileje Meje, I hope I got that right, Ileje Meje LGA. 
Now, after 22 years of legal battle, the Supreme Court gave a, gave a verdict identifying Edao Onio as the rightful headquarters of the said LGA. Now, the community waits for the AKT State Government to obey the Apex Court ruling. We have a special report on this, and our correspondent, Ibrahim Alege, fills us in now. Watch on. It's a quiet morning in Edao, New York, Ikiti. Residents going about their normal activities. Here, I met the traditional ruler of the community, Oba Julius Awulola. Although he beams with smile, but behind the smile is a burning heart desire that is yet to be fulfilled after more than two decades. He narrates how he spearheaded the move for the creation of Ileje Meje local government with headquarters in Edao, New York, before it was finally approved by the then military head of state, the late General Sonia Bacha, in 1996. People don't believe that it's possible for one word to become a local government. But being a businessman from Lagos, I face it. But we thank God that at the end of it, we got the local government created. And Edao, New York was made the headquarter of the local government. And for three months, Edao, New York was the local government headquarters before the then military governor of Ekiti State relocated it to Iye Ekiti for what it termed administrative convenience in 1997. It was a backdoor business through the power that be. The then head of state, uh, General Abasha, was not aware of the remover from Edao, New York. Not satisfied with the decision, Edao Neo instituted legal action at the State High Court and the case reached the Supreme Court. After nine years at the Supreme Court, the Apex Court ruled in favor of Edao Neo on the 14th of December 2018. The Ekiti State Government in January this year promised to obey the judgment. According to a statement from his office, the Deputy Governor, B.C. Egbeyemi, said the state government had accepted the judgment and appealed to the people of Edao Neo to exercise caution and patience as the process to implement the judgment had commenced. They say that the location of a local government is gradual process. What, the, what is gradual process? Since 14th of, uh, of, 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 of December 2018, this is eight months, eight, eight months plus. That is Supreme Court. Several months after, the community is still waiting for the state government to obey the judgment. If the order of the Supreme Court is that Iye Kiti should no longer be recognized as the headquarters of Ilejime J local government since December 14, 2018, then it shows that the continued recognition of that local government at Iye Kiti, the headquarters of the local government at Iye Kiti, is illegal and it is contemptuous. The people of Edao Neo believe that the relocation of the local government headquarters to Edao Neo will come with growth and development, although it is still a waiting game. The, the rule of law is not yet implemented. I am very, very surprised. It is only in this country that you have a Supreme Court judgment and you are still doubting whether it will be implemented or not. It is only in Nigeria. And you know our, gov our governor here, he doesn't talk much. So you can't say this is what he has in mind. We don't know his mind, but we are appealing to him to please obey the Supreme Court judgment. And let us, we two in Eda, to enjoy the fruit of our labor. Already they have a building to serve as a temporary secretariat and a piece of land for the construction of the local government secretariat. All right, folks, welcome back. Gentlemen, the Supreme Court, the apex court in the land has passed judgment. Mm. Uh, 
Do you consider anything after that? But I, I am worried that uh, you, the commission is now saying they are begging, they are appealing to the government, the governor, to, I mean, what is more supreme than the Supreme Court? The tribunal has given a judgment and you cannot appeal anymore. So what it means is that the government has no option, has no other alternative than to make sure that without even delay, that, that uh, judgment is, um, is uh, given heed to. Because so that it doesn't come to this, this issue of Ogidima you mentioned, yeah. doesn't come to, because you remember that it was a, 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 a J, 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 Dung. Dung. Uh, yeah, that went yeah. exactly that moved that the you not exactly yeah. moving from uh, uh, Ogidibe to uh, to Ogbe 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 which is yeah. uh, this may be a different scenario because this is uh, it is a uh, monolithic and mono mono monolingual and all that uh, but in that at that no, time no, it was there, there's a movement you, yeah there's I know I don't I don't know that's unsettling a natural state yes exactly because even then even the Oba when you look at the Oba the report we got is that even the Oba was the one that fought to and to ensure that they even gave them that local government at that time. Mm. And then they also promised that. And then they gave a, a place that is okay. This is going to be the local government. And they enjoyed it for three months. Then you snatch it out by military fiat. So what uh, uh, the governor needs to do now is that he also needs to write his name in history to ensure that justice is done. Not only just the, it must be seen to have been done. That's exactly where we are. So that there will be calm. So that the pe people who have been, been shortchanged for over 20 years can now have a semblance of, okay, let them be argued. At, the, at the end of the yeah. day, you are giving them what is right, rightfully theirs. They can also, we can, as I, you know, I was telling you before, we can say, well, they can, even, they can even, even take it beyond that point. Okay, okay, we now have uh, uh, a DAIO as the administrative headquarters. Yeah. Then the, uh, the one that is there now, we can say, okay, that should be even the economic headquarters. Yeah. It, can, it can work. So they yeah. can, both of them can work quite pursue. I don't, I don't think it's a difficult thing for them to do. This is the trouble I always have with politicians and vested interests. Mm -hmm. And these vested interests, even when they hurt the people they, they are governing, they still go ahead. Yes. It's, um, it's unfortunate. And the question that um, I've been asking is what prompted Colonel Mohamed Enoa Bauer to take that decision at the time. Was it simply some politicians? Uh, um, was, it, was it simply the result of pressure from some, some politicians around him? Because we know that big people are sometimes put pressure on I, I yes, hope you are not, people sorry, in government. Sorry, I hope you are not begging the question because Bauer is not native to Ekiti. Yes, yeah, but yeah, he well, was the man in charge. He was the headman. Yes. Now I'm saying that. What prompted him to effect yes, that there, there, there must be. There must be. I'm heading somewhere. Yeah, yeah, go on. Hold on. Mm, it's interesting. Is it, could it be some powerful politicians no, no around pressure. him? Mm. Because even as military administrators at that time, they had politicians that, that they yeah, always exactly. related That's to. Right. Yeah. You know, politicians, some of the politicians and, and even work in their government. And committee leaders. You know, people mm. like Ganduje now. Ganduje mm. was was commissioner That's right. under uh, the administration but, um, of... Uh, right. of um, um, uh, no, this no. Uh, this Delta man. Onea. Okay, Onea. Okay, okay, Dominic. Dominic. Dominic Onea. Dominic Onea. He was. He was. Dominic Onea. I was in Kano at that. I was working in Kano, and he was. He's. Uh, he was his works uh, commissioner. So, I'm saying that could it be that some politicians? It must be some politicians pipe pressure on him and said, uh, 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 military administrator, this thing should not be here, and that shouldn't be happening. When uh, Buhari, when uh, um, um, IBB mm. okay. created Delta State, this also came up because people felt that Asaba, being at one end of yeah, the state, exactly. state shouldn't be in the state capital. Yes. But people said, "Oh, uh, IBB pandered to his so in-laws." Yeah, exactly. Because his in-laws were mm. from Asaba, Asaba, so he decided to make his in-laws happy. Is that of And then he put it there that he should have found somewhere. Around the Willy and all that, yes. When uh, when the Gar State was created by Abacha, mm. yes, by this regime, ninety-six people felt. In fact, it was supposed to be Adeja State. Okay, that was the name, original name, mm. and Adeja State with headquarters in Adeja. But what did we see? It was said that there was a quarrel between Abacha mm. and uh, the then uh, uh, former min uh, I mean, minister of uh, FCT. Interest. And that because of that, 
they, they punished, they, punished they, them. They punished him <laughs> and took the headquarters to, to Duse. And on the day that it was announced that Duse had actually become the headquarters, headquarters. of Jigawa. Yes. People, residents of Duse, in, I mean of uh, Adeja in Anga, descended on the home of Hamza Abdullah. You know, who was their son mm. and was a uh, uh, FCT so, suppose, uh, who was suppose, and supposedly influential. Well, yes, they destroyed uh, his, property. Uh, his, his property. So politicians usually get involved to make sure that some of these decisions are taken. But they must always, always think of, look at the bigger picture. You take this kind of decision, it can cause bloodshed. Now, the uh, governor, uh, governor, can you find me? has no choice. This decision has been made by the Supreme Court. You just have to go ahead and implement, implement. it. Otherwise, we will not leave you alone. What we want in our country is, what we want to see in our country is a situation in which the courts give the, uh, their decisions mm -hmm. and other express. arms of government obey the yes, decisions express. of the court. Otherwise, we'll have anarchy on mm, our hands. That's right. Martin, we had talked about interest here. Look at what's playing out. If, if, let me just drop that. It's mm. a digression. Taraba and Benue, communities in Tamari, they speak the same language, had been split geographically, but the Palava is still there. Yeah. This is talking about interest, how far reaching these parochial interests could go. Yeah, but you know, these parochial interests are there, and they will always be there. This is the way we are. But that is the reason you have these three arms of government. This one we make law. This one we execute. If there is a dispute, Dependent this on one, one we just say no. This is the way. This is the law. So the point at issue, and which we should stress, is what uh, Jide said about how disobedience to court orders can cause anarchy. And it has been causing... And it has been causing anarchy. We have you know, he, he talked in yes, one of the other states. You know, yeah, one exactly. we have not talked about, even in a democratic setting, mm -hmm. is Tafa Balewa, local government. Okay, yes, state. Baji state, yes. Just remember that. On, on, mm -hmm. uh, on the Issa Yuguda, mm -hmm. the, there was a problem in one local government headquarters. He ordered the relocation. You know... Uh, Willy-nilly. Willy yes, he ordered the relocation of a local government headquarters. You know that... The, the local government headquarters are in the constitution. Mm -hmm. You yes. can't do you anything can't do. about it's it. It's gazetted. Mm -hmm. So he relocated the ICE in court. He, they have not actually uh, concluded that case. It's in court. And uh, it's so, it has caused a lot of problems that we, are, we have not been reporting. Because, you know, Tafa Balewa, local government in Bauchi State, is dominated by Christians. Yes. And they relocated the, uh, the, the, the headquarters, headquarters to a place that is no longer Christian yeah. dominated. Yeah. You know the implication the, of the, that. The and I think. The, we should respect the law. If a Supreme Court ruling cannot be implemented, I think it's a problem. And we should talk to the authorities that the way we are asking uh, foreign, uh, uh, foreign direct investors to come here, we should also look at the environment mm -hmm. of uh, 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 operation. If the operating environment cannot implement a Supreme Court ruling, within a state for close to a year, yeah. then there is a problem in that yeah. environment. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the other day, they nearly, a court nearly stopped the president from inaugurating the cabinet, yeah, cabinet. because oh, yeah. there oh, was yeah. a, mm -hmm. a, a court of appeal judgment on 15th March 2018 that an indigent of Abuja should be included in yes. the cabinet. Mm -hmm. And they had blocked it in such a way that it cannot be appealed to even Supreme Court the way they had handled it. But the president has not obeyed that one as we speak. speak. So these are, there are so many issues like that. I even uh, uh, um, uh, um, Femi Falana, senior advocate of Nigeria, compiled a number of cases that God, the governments of Nigeria, various refused, governments have, have disregarded right. after court ruling. That is not a good operating environment right. for even investors. For us, for in, in, uh, interpersonal relationship, for us to maintain peace, Law justice, and order yeah. in this place for justice, for fairness. If our leaders are reading, uh, one deputy governor was mm. saying that uh, uh, we have accepted. Do you have any option? Okay, I don't have that. 
You know, why, why, why should we be well, reporting even, such things like that? You know? Even, even if you said you have accepted. You have accepted. What he's what have, what have you done about? so far? Yes, that's what I'm implementing. They said they are, they are trying. I mean, it's a very distasteful it's, it's reality. It's they are, they are we shouldn't be hearing about, about this. We have accepted the uh, ruling. It's ongoing. And we obey the ruling, but they will not It's not in your place to even talk about whether you accept or not. And it enables me again to talk to agencies. No point to be fingered. No, be You know, Nigeria Bar Association. You know, it, we used to know when uh, Kabashanus of this world, mm, yeah, uh, okay. yeah. uh, so many of them like that, even uh, uh, the, the one, um, so many of uh, these yeah. uh, Fiery leaders, including Mr. Akeredolu, including Akeredolu, 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 Akeredolu,
The special advisor to a your state governor on security matters, Fatayo Wushin, claimed that Nigerians like to sit back and let things degenerate. All of us must join hands together to fight this kankawa. Um, not shifting blame on government every day. The citizens, the people themselves must rise to it. The civil society, and I must say that the media has the biggest role. For the president of the Computer and Allied Products Dealers Association of Nigeria, Ahmed Ojikutu, technology is the way to go to tackle these challenges. The BVN, the biometric identification, that each individual, each account owner, each transaction should be tied to somebody that is recognized by Nigeria as a state. So if somebody is taking or receiving or laundering money of government, either locally or internationally, for the fact that there is an identity, is the person that is the owner of the account that should be called to question. Another speaker, Martin Zoloja, emphasized that proper upbringing of children can dissuade them from crime. We, that the change is not about a, a slogan of government, begins with each and every one of us. Now, if we want to fight corruption, we should begin from home to ensure that our children are not engaged in corrupt practices in getting admission, in paying school fees, in getting anything at all. We should ensure that our children do the right thing. The organizers promise that more of such conferences will be held to ensure the development of the country. All right, gentlemen, I'll... Uh our guide here is or lodger you were there oh, yes i was there i couldn't make it summarize <laughs> well i i think it it was uh, it was um, it was organic it it was it was quite good and uh, the the resource persons that uh, our sister uh, one of us one of us here mm. uh, selected the resource persons were quite good and they spoke you know it wasn't a day people were talking about corruption mm. of government yeah. or those things yeah. like that uh, you know that was, it was a comprehensive discussion on corruption beginning from home. And they even there was one of the resource persons who said, look, if you have secured admission for your children Probably. through this, because your children could not get admission to this one, you are corrupt. Mm. If you did this one, even you got uh, uh, a degree uh, uh, that your uh, child did not merit. But you by Oluwole. Oluwole. <laughs> Oluwole degree. You know, <laughs> it, it was quite comprehensive to the extent that even uh, two former police commissioners, yeah. including the one Usha that Ushini, we just yeah. saw, Ushini Ushini, and uh, yeah. uh, one other, uh, other person, uh, Odita. So he's oh, Frank Odita. Frank. Yes, yeah, Frank, Frank Odita yeah, yeah. was there. Okay. And uh, some other experts, like that, so many lawyers spoke, and people were talking. People were not talking about government, we were talking about ourselves. Yeah. And one, one thing that uh, was ringing yesterday, one theme, was impunity. Impunity. That people who are involved in corrupt practices, people who have done something wrong, must be punished. Right. But we, are, we have a culture of impunity. All the speakers spoke to this. Uh, impunity issue yeah all that right. impunity that people should be punished and we we'll had another opportunity of repeating what i have always quoted from shakespeare that once there's some part of mercy forgives a murderer it encourages murder it's, uh, yeah okay jd all four of us here are fathers father figures if you like and we all run families you know the smallest city in any country is the family, the family is the many family, of these family cities have broken down Family is it too unit. late to start anything? Too late in the day? No, it's not too late. And we really don't have a choice. Because the current generation of young people are missing it. They've not had the privilege of the kind of training that hmm. many of us older people had. So. They need to be taught lessons of life. They need to know that, look, the things that really get them excited are the things that will ultimately destroy them. Because they really, <laughs> they don't, just don't get it. And a lot of them are taken to crime because they've already diminished themselves to the point that they don't think that they can make it if they are involved in anything legitimate. Any, legitimate. Anything legitimate. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, but then... Is this society 
not permissive? We, yes, the point at the point where we are now, there is a resounding no to your question. There is no doubt that morals have collapsed in the various homes. How many uh, uh, homes encourage father, mother, and their children waking up in the morning, praying, and reading through the scriptures, the way our parents used to mm. cause us to do? That made us to wake up early. By 5 a.m., you will have woken up naturally. How many and fathers then, and mothers will take the pains to look at the children's exercise books? We are, not, so we, we are not even providing parental care to these children. We are too busy being We are too parents. busy. We are being too parents, busy, we are too to busy with our work. We are too busy with our work. To Some spare. people work in the bank. Yeah. They don't even leave the bank until 11. And then they start heading up, caught up in traffic. The children don't see them. In, in, the children don't it, see them. Is their needs? They've they've outsourced. Yeah, total taking care of the rest of you are taking care of their children. They've outsourced to their mates. You, you know, here whatever the, these mates do the, to the children, you know, here the father who got fired from work and the children before they woke up, the man had gone yes. to work. By the time he comes back, they had gone to bed. And so when the point when, that I'm when the, I know when the man came back around twelve. They were shouting, uncle, uncle, daddy has gone to and work. The man, the man says, no, no, the I am your father. Your father. Yes. Yes. No, because no. that interface, exactly. that, it's not there. that daily interface that has to it's be not there. there, it's not there. But on the theme of the, uh, of the, the, the uh, uh, symposium yeah. or, or, or whatever, I think that we should, Nigeria as a country has to improve on technology as a means yeah. of fighting yeah. crime. We are not doing enough. When people talk of DNA, DNA can solve a crime committed even 30 years ago. Oh, even why did um, the former American president, Clinton, why did he stop denying? Because he got hint that his semen dropped on Monica Lewinsky's uh, And he went, he, went, he went for... Bring the dress. Bring the dress. Yes, and the woman <laughs> was going to take the dress <laughs> for DNA. Yes. So he had to confess. Oh, I known? had inappropriate uh, 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 sexual relationship. So he had to open up. Do we have forensic centers here? Yeah. Uh, you know forensic oh, centers where we can use DNA? Yes. You know, yeah, do we have CCTV? Just quickly, quickly, FBI released a list of 80 Africans, 77 of them Nigerians. They had been tailing That's them. It's a fresh list now. Another oh, list. I go go say I'm <laughs> but, but, but see, I'm saying there is no old man amongst them, yes, which is saying the young. youth are getting it all wrong. Again, again, the parents are, what you have today is uh, two minutes no do parenting. That you don't really have parents who have uh, been given from the past what they should pass on. Another thing about the technology, if you, do, if you want to fight technology without any database that is effective, there's no, if, if a CCTV on, along this, uh, you I mean, uh, or what's the name of this place now, yeah. it could get to yeah. catching somebody, and then you go, the question is that where is the database, where is the, what do you want to rely on? So, is, it will, but we will get there, we will get there. Uh, we'll when? Get there. We'll get Very soon. I, I want us to get there in my in life. In my time, exactly. Yes. Okay, okay. We'll we have no CCTV <laughs> coverage of Lagos. We'll get Honestly, there. people will not commit crime. Uh, they work in my detail. You see, a, you see the community, you mm. see a town like Durban in South mm. Africa. Yeah. They have good CCTV Yeah, coverage. exactly. Many people fear to go and commit crime. Oh, so, yeah, because yeah. they need to detail them. Okay, okay, mm. okay. But uh, uh, let me apologize to my sister, Janet mm. Mba Afolabi. I thought the event was built for tomorrow. No vex. I just told the <laughs> producer. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, was I forget. No vex she, she I forget. Me too. Me <laughs> sorry, no, sorry, no, no vex. Sorry, Janet. Janet, <laughs> Janet no vex. Uh, but next time, call us. I go call. <laughs> See, call us again. All right, Martin's Oloja. Many thanks for your time. Uh, uh, thank you, Charles. Uh, enjoy your weekend if yes. you can. Uh, where will we do it the, 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 the wife was a year older the other day. Oh, and I saw, I saw, I saw him and the wife in in a school uniform. I was. Well, that's you for. No, but but actionable. But but you, but that's 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 not a matter for this this platform. No, it is. It is. It is. We are exposed to the four Nigerians. <laughs> All right, Jide, um, please enjoy your week. No, 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 no,
Uh, you have the chance of watching a repeat which is built for 11 later tonight and you can of, of course watch the program on other platforms will display on the screen and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel is the same. I am Citizen Jones Hussein. Enjoy your time. Bye bye now.